In this video, we will sew a simple skirt in clothes ready. I will share with you some tips and tricks on how to sew this guarded skirt quick and easy step by step. These include using some basic tool in Close 3D, such as a segment sewing tool, an added sewing tool, and more. Then apply the fabrics as well as the top stitches to give a finished look. Before I'm changing this waistband thickness to one, I'm going to come over here and hide this avatar, okay? To hide the avatar, I'm going to come over here to this once again 3D display menu and click on the avatar right there and as you can see this avatar right here have this blue bubble next to it which means that avatar right there is show or active if I click on it to turn it off now the avatar is inactive or high okay so I'm gonna just rotate it down just a little bit like that then zoom in then I'm going to come over here to the 2d window and I'm going to switch my tool back to transform pattern tool click on it and after that I'm going to marquee select these waistbands right here and come over here to this property editor and I'm going to do two things here so I'm going to change the particle distance to 5. Just click highlight on it and then type in number 5. Then I'm going to press on the tab key on the keyboard. Then I'm going to come down here. You see this add thickness rendering. I'm going to click select and then type in 1. Then I'm going to press on return into on the keyboard to confirm. Okay. Now I'm going to press on the space bar to simulate. All right, that is. So let me zoom in just a little more. And I'm going to show you a couple of things here. So we change the particle distance of the top, which is the waistband, but it's not the facing. We also want to change the particle distance for the facing as well as the skirt. To do that, I'm going to my key select all these pattern pieces right there and I'm going to come over here to this property editor and I want to change it to 10. Press the return or enter on the keyboard to confirm. Then I'm going to press down the space bars once again to simulate. All right. After that, I'm going to my key selects all these pattern pieces okay then right click and i'm going to select strengthen once again then i'm going to press down the space bar to simulate and press on once again to stop now i'm going to right click and select unstrengthen okay so as you can see right here our waistband it's kind of curved because we did change the top one, the waistband to one and the facing is still zero. So I'm going to change the color of the facings a little bit so we get to see the effects a little better. To change the color of the facing fabric, just come over here to this object browser and click on that facing fabric. Then I'm going to come down here to this property editor click on that slider and then scroll it down until I see this color right here then I'm going to click on that color swatch to bring this color window I'm going to just click on that color palette to select any color I think that might work on so let me just click and drag to slide up, slide down. Looks like that's okay. I'm happy with it. Then I'm going to come down here and click on OK to confirm. All right. Next, I'm going to zoom out so we get to see the whole skirt view a little bit better. Okay. All right. So a skirt looks much better with that knitted or rip fabric. 
Next, all we need to do is apply the top stitch on to the skirt hem. Okay, to do that, once again, I'm going to just zoom in a little bit closer. And we are going to come over here to this 2D toolbar and we're going to select top stitches. Okay, first of all, once again, the top stitch tool here that have this kind of cursor or arrow next to it, that is added top stitch or right below it, that is the top stitch. If I click on that tool and I get to see the sub menu of those tools. So we have segment, top stitch, free top stitch or seamline top stitch. For this skirt hem, we are going to select segment top stitch. Okay. Then I'm going to come down here and click one to apply the top stitch. Then I'm going to come over here and click once again to apply the next top stitch on to the back skirt hem. Okay, it looks like nothing really happened. However, I'm going to come over here under this object browser and click on that default top stitch. Now, the top stitch is synchronized. Okay, once again, still doesn't really appear here. That's because the top stitch itself has the same color as the skirt. So we can't really see that. So to bring the top stitch out, I'm going to come over here to that top stitch right there. Then I'm going to come down here under property editor. And we want to do a few thing here. So we want to select the type of the top stitch we want, which is for this example, we only need a single line top stitch. So by default, the top stitch itself is single line. Offset, we want to select an offset. Let me click on that to see more offset function. So if I select down here, we have one, four, we have 5, 16, I'm going to click on that to apply the top stitch. Then I'm going to scroll down a little more. We want to select the color and I'm going to change it to somewhat a little bit darker than the skirt. So we get to see the top stitch better. Let me kind of click and then slide it to the right. A little bit then I'm going to click on OK to confirm and let me zoom in a little more so we get to see the changes okay so this is a top stitch after that I'm going to come back down here to this property editor and I'm going to scroll down a little more because we want to change the faces of the top stitch to bows right here here okay after that number of lines for this gutter skirt work just fine with a single line okay if you decided to select more than single you say triple however you like but for this skirt I'm going to just leave it a single line okay and we can improve the top stitch a little more by clicking on this you see this 3d button right there just click on it to turn it on then I'm going to change this intensity to some board maybe around 25 is to give a little bit more kind of punch to the top stitch itself okay so let me zoom back out so right here after that I'm going to select the avatar and then turn it back on so we can see the skirt fit a little bit better onto the avatar. All right, I'm going to press on number two to see the whole front view of the avatar and pan her up just a little bit. So there you have it designista. I hope you find this video helps and remember to Sub and click on the bell for more awesome videos. Thank you.